Welcome back. I'm joined now by Beth Stevens, Imogen Lloyd Webber, and Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we are going to discuss some summer theater options because not much happens on Broadway in the summer. And so what a lot of people do is get in a zip car and drive. You know, there's a lot of theaters yeah. within a couple hours and a lot of really great things uh, happening. So we want to sort of let everyone know what's happening and what you could be spending your summer doing. Uh, Imogen, yeah. do, what, what, what sort of, what do you think is exciting that's happening that people should think about? Well, let's get to it here. Aaron Tveit. Oh, of uh, course. I mean, come this on, Tveit the Dots, yeah. <laughs> He's doing Bobby and Company at the Barrington Stage in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Um, so I think all of us are thinking, oh, it's been 10 years since it's come to Broadway. Mm. Could, could this transfer? I mean, that's a great juicy part, great Bobby juicy. and Company. It's the one everyone says they want to play. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, playing it August the 10th uh, through September the 2nd. And a really interesting supporting cast. Ellen Harvey as Joanne, mm. who I adore. Uh, Lawrence Street as Harry. So we'll see. I mean, who knows? But Aaron DeVate, I mean, you can imagine the DeVate tots have already got their plans. I mean, together. everyone's been waiting to hear him, like, doing Bobby another baby. musical. Yeah. I mean, Bobby, Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Bobby, Robert Bobby. Darling. The, so the Berkshires, Beth, you know the Berkshires I know well. the Berkshires. I do. And I will say, as much as I love Barrington Stage, and that production is directed by the artistic director, Julianne Boyd, Williamstown Theatre Festival is the king of the Berkshires. It's a celeb right. magnet. It's, it's the northernmost. WTF. That's what they call themselves, <laughs> which I love. They, la they landed well there. Uh, Williamstown is the northernmost of the theaters. There are a lot of theaters in the Berkshires. And they're doing The Clean House, which is a Sarah Rule play, which um, premiered off Broadway, well, premiered at Yale Rep, but then it went off Broadway in 2006. It was a 2005 Pulitzer Prize finalist. Okay. But listen to this cast. Jane Atkinson, if you've been binge watching House of Cards, you know Jane Atkinson. Right. Mm -hmm. Jessica Hecht, just like a, a, just an amazing uh, group of people up there. Yeah. So that's up at Williamstown, but there's some other stuff up there. They love oh. to do new work in their Nico stage. That's like their second stage, a smaller stage. Right. They're doing a play. Here's the title. Work with me here. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Moscow, 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 Moscow. I may have missed one. Mm. Um, that's by Hallie Pfeiffer and directed by Trip Coleman. Mm. So this is a sort of, I would say, a millennial take on Three Sisters. Mm. Kristen Milioti, Tavi Gevinson, Tom Sados Thomas Sadowski, Micah Stock, Harvey Blanks, Rebecca Henderson, just like so yeah. packed yeah. with people, right? So I that's feel like gonna that's going to end up in New York. That yeah. sounds like a show that's going to yeah. come to New York. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I'm a big fan of Bucks County Playhouse in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Um, and they are doing one of my favorite musicals of all time, Guys and Dolls. And this cast is amazing. Another Broadway.com star yes. is in this yes. one. Yes. Well, you the, queen, the queen herself, the Leslie queen. Margarita, as Miss Adelaide. If you don't want to sign up to see Leslie Margarita <laughs> sing A Bushel in a Peck and Adelaide's Lament, there's no hope for you. Um, <laughs> but also you've got Elena Shadow as Sarah. You've got um, Clark Thorell. You've got Steve Rosen. Yeah. The cast is amazing. And you have Hunter Foster directing. This is his third production this summer at Bucks County Playhouse. So uh, Guys and Dolls this summer, I think July 21st it starts. Make sure you go see it. But that. Imogen, isn't there actually another show in the Berkshires that might come to Broadway? Okay, we need to talk about Children of a Lesser God, yes. which um, stars a man I've seen naked, Joshua Jackson. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's, that's, right. Um, that's right. Who was in off Smart Broadway. People <laughs> Off-Broadway, yes. directed by Kenny Leon, who is directing Children of Lesser uh. God. Now there was talk a couple of years ago that Kenny Leon was gonna do ch a revival of Children of Lesser God on Broadway. Mm. That didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So we all now got, you know, we're keeping our eyes on that. Um, and this play, I think, is, is very interesting. I, I know you know a lot about this one, Beth, because it's about a deaf student, yeah. isn't it, who sort of has this odd relationship with her... With her teacher. teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. A and former was, teacher, yeah. And it was Marley Maitland who won the Oscar yes. for that. Mm -hmm. Tony-winning play uh, from 1980 hasn't been revived since. So, yes, all eyes on Joshua And this Jackson. is the final weekend for that, actually. So uh, if you want to see that, get, get, get the car right now. Yeah. Get in the car. Um, I want to talk about uh, Cape Cod. Because one of the really fun things, this is like a classic summer stock kind of option. You know, the Cape Playhouse is a very famous theater in Dennis, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. And a lot of, when you go on their website, you can see all the old Hollywood stars who have allegedly or uh, uh, historically performed there. And it's, right. it sort of was one of the really early ones. They're doing Gypsy, which mm -hmm. of course many people consider the greatest musical right. ever. And their Mama Rose is Julia Murney who we she's all love, amazing. total uh, Broadway diva. We love her, also a former Alphaba. And she's joined by Carolyn Bowman, another Alphaba, as her daughter Louise. And also, fun fact, Jen Cody, who does uh, a lot of shows actually at Cape Playhouse, mm -hmm. she will be Tessie Tura. So she's gonna bump it with a trumpet. This to me is <laughs> like, it's like a classic summer stock kind of fun. It's yes. great, you know, it's great to see somebody like Julia Murney get the chance to play Mama Rose. And that is August 8th through the 19th. 
What else? What else? We, what else? Well, we is? have so Lynn Nottage this season with yeah. Sweat. She got you know another Pulitzer Prize and nominated for Best Play. One of her earlier plays, Intimate Apparel, right. they're doing yeah. at the Bay Street Theater in Sag Harbor. Um, and this is about a young African American woman in 1905 comes to New York City, wants to make it as a seamstress, makes lingerie for society ladies and ladies of the night. Um, starts writing love letters to a Caribbean man, but she's in love with like her Hasidic fabric seller. <laughs> Juicy stuff in there, um, getting raves, and Kelly McCreary is in it. Portia, who is in Ruined, yeah, is in it as well. So that is a must-see. Wait, I have another thing about Lenottage. So, there, so at Powerhouse Theater at Vassar College is sort of this really hot thing where they premiere a lot of shows and do workshops. They're doing, of course, we've talked about this on the site, Uzo Aduba, mm -hmm. who a lot of people have been waiting to come back to yes. Broadway, is doing a reading next weekend, the July 27th through the 30th, of Secret Life of Bees, which is a oh, great sure. book, great movie. She's playing the role Jennifer Hudson played in the movie, actually. And it's written by Lynn Nottage, Duncan Sheik, Susan Birkenhead, directed by Sam Gold. Wow. I mean, if that's that not pre-Broadway, I don't know what <laughs> is. And also, a very top secret reading is happening this Sunday of Diana, the Princess Diana musical uh, written by the Memphis team. So Joe DiPietro and David Bryan, who both won Tony Awards for Memphis, and directed by brand new Tony winner Christopher Ashley. We don't know right. who's playing Princess Diana, but it? that's happening on Sunday at five o'clock, and I don't think you can get into that one, Top but maybe you stuff. can go and beg. I don't know. I think that, that's, that's another hot, hot ticket. And what's a summer without a little Shakespeare? We have As You Like It, a new production, which they're doing at the Bay Street Theater. They're doing it with the classic stage company. So John Doyle, the artistic director there, he is directing this production of As You Like It. And Stephen Schwartz, who we all know, is providing a jazz era inspired score to go along with it. And this cast is gonna be playing their own instruments, including Ellen Burstyn, <laughs> you have Kyle Scatliff, you have, it sounds fantastic. Yep. And spending a summer you know, afternoon in, in the forest with these people, I think is something <laughs> I would like to do. Well, if you thought your summer theater going was a little sparse, now you have a lot of things you could potentially go see. So uh, thank you guys for all your tips thank and you. we hope you have fun on your road trip.